Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java writer class with the help of examples and we are going to see the file writer class in this video so guys the writer class of the java io package is an abstract super class that represents a stream of characters so basically this writer class is a super class and we have many sub classes out of which one is the file writer class that we can use in order to create an object now since writer is an abstract class it is not useful by itself however its sub class can be used to write data so basically what are the different subclasses we have buffered writer we have output stream writer file writer and string writer so today in this video we are going to see examples with the help of this file writer class so what are the different methods the first method is the write method which is used in order to write the characters from a specified array to the output stream and there are multiple other methods which you can use based on your requirements so guys let us check this with the help of examples now so over here in the eclipse id we will have the writer class first over here so we have writer class as you can see it is suggested by the eclipse id this is the first class that we have selected that is a writer class and then over here i will say fw as we are going to create the object of a file writer class followed by equal to new operator and we have something called as file writer so over here in the file writer class there are multiple constructors that you can use so based on your requirements you can choose the appropriate constructor over here i am going to use the third constructor which takes only the string file name that means the name of the file in which we want to write some data so basically guys the file writer class can be used in order to write some data into the file or any other output stream so over here i already have the directory so as you can see in this directory i have two files that is java tutorial which is containing the tutorial content of the java programming language the other file is a test file which is having some data but we are going to create another file which is going to be the output file in which we are going to write with the help of our file writer class so what i'm going to do is i'll just copy this directory path over here and then i'll paste this over here inside the parenthesis as the parameter of the file writer but the file name must be enclosed within the double quotes so over here inside the double quotes i will provide the path first and then followed by double backslashes and then i will say output dot txt that's the name of the file that we are giving in order to write the content in this file and then guys after that at the end of the line we will have our semicolon and then what we will do we will use this file writer object that is fw in order to write some data into this file that is output.txt but guys before this we are getting some unhandled exception type that is io exception so i will just select the first option that is add throws declaration over here so it will throw io exception as you can see over here now guys let's say i want to write some data into the file that is the output.txt file so what i will do is i will use this fw object followed by dot and then we have something called as write method so as you can see there are multiple write methods so this is called method overloading that's because the name of the method is same but we have different parameter data types so over here the parameters that are are being taken are of different data types so over here i am going to use this third method which takes a string parameter so we are going to pass the string parameter over here and what i will do is this is first line in output file so guys this content we are going to write in our output.txt file and then guys what we can do is in order to make this program more efficient i will say fw dot close guys this becomes very important that's because we should close the output stream in order to reduce the usage of the memory as well so this close method is very important in order to close the output or the input stream or any other stream that you are working with with any of the objects that we have seen previously so guys now let me just save this file and try running this code now but before running this code we should have the confirmation that the output file is already written so what i will do is i will simply put a print statement over here and on console we will say that file content is returned so guys when this message is printed on the console we will get the confirmation that this write method has been executed successfully and a new file is created in the directory path that we have mentioned over here now guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as we can see file content is written and let's go to the directory now so as you can see there is a output file that is being 
created over here let me just open this file so it says this is first line in output file and guys in this way we can easily write the content in the output file now guys apart from this let's say i want to add another line over here so what i can do is i can again use the fw object followed by write method and then i can put another string over here so let's say i put this is another line in output file and then guys before that i want to have a full stop over here and then the space over here so that the next line is appended after the first line so let me just save this file and try running this code now so we get the confirmation file content is written and then if i go to the directory over here it says this is first line in output file now guys this second line is being continued over here so if i maximize the notepad file over here as you can see after the first line the second line is being continued over here what if we want the second line to be on the next line of the notepad file so what we can do is we can provide a slash n character over here at the end of the line so when we do slash n over here the control flow will go to the next line and then whatever content is there on the next line that will be printed so guys over here i'll provide a full stop now let me just save this file and try running this code once again so file content is written let me just go to this file output file and then let me maximize this so as you can see this is first line in output file and then after the control flow encounters slash n that is a new line it comes to the new line and then the second line that is this is another line in output file is getting printed on the other line and guys in this way you can easily write the content in an output file or any other file based on your requirements guys apart from this there are many other methods that you can use for the file writer object so if we type fw followed by dot we have many other methods being suggested by the eclipse id so based on your requirements you can use the required methods and practice on your own so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java buffered reader class with the help of examples so stay tuned